Right now, police are trying to figure out what sparked that deadly shooting. Good afternoon, I'm Jan Carabello. And I'm Greg Argos. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan joins us live from the Hamilton Mall with the latest on this investigation. Good afternoon, Cleve. Good afternoon, Greg. We know that the mall was not actually open at the time of the shooting, just some of the department stores, and there's been no indication to this point that the shooting has anything to do with Black Friday or Black Friday aggression. This is an open investigation by the Atlanta County Prosecutor's Office. So here's what we know so far. Police say right after 1 a.m. they got a call for the shooting in the Macy's parking lot. They arrived to find a 20-year-old man from Atlantic City was shot multiple times, and he was soon pronounced dead at the scene. Police say his 26-year-old brother from Clayton, New Jersey, was also shot. He was shot in the leg, and he's in stable condition. Now, neither of the victim's names have been released. Police say they don't have any suspects to announce yet and won't comment on what the potential motive could have been. Eyewitness News spotted numerous shell casings and a bullet-riddled SUV this morning. And we also spoke to some shoppers who were very upset by what happened. It's just a shame to come out here and see this. You know, it makes you want to think, like, you know, I don't, I don't know if we want to do this next year. Because peop people are, you know, today it's just, it's getting crazy. It's a tragedy. And I'm thinking it's really sad. And it's very scary, you know. You're starting off the holiday season and, you know, you're excited about the upcoming times and with family. And now there's going to be a family who are missing people. And their holidays will never be the same. A spokesperson for the Hamilton Mall gave us a statement referring all questions about the incident to local police, but saying that their hearts uh, are filled with thoughts and prayers towards the victims and their families today. Reporting live in Hamilton Township, I'm Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Cleve, thank you.